So these are the trekking poles. You can see they're flashing red. But you tap them, you need some light, you tap them. And without the headlight, that's what you're looking at. Going to sleep at night, come over here. Off. So after a while, cool. I'm not exactly sure how long, that'll click over to a flashing red. Need light. Boom. So here we have it in solid red, there we have it in the light, the solid light. You can get this to a flashing, something happens, you need a signal at night. There's a slow flash. There's a quick flash. You got your quick flash. You got your slow flash. Your low light, you got your high light. That's the high. There's the low. Your high light. Your low light. See the small ring it puts around there? You can see the big ring it puts around there. Quite a bit of difference. I went up and down with the low. With the high. Look at how much you need to see ahead of you. You can see how much light it's putting out. Quite a bit. Now, if you leave that pole sitting unattended with that light on, as an energy saving mode, it will click down to a real slow, it'll click down to a quicker blinking red than a, than a real slow blinking red. So you can find it. There it goes. But the second you walk over and touch that handle, Lights right back up. It's a pretty cool feature. Now it comes with quick adjusting things here. It comes with your snow cages, it comes with the regular cages, and it comes with the rubber for on the road. So you don't, it's a carbide. So don't damage your carbide. It'll come with a rubber cap. It'll come with the regular cages and the snow cages. I'll show you them all in the light when I get back home. But uh, you can keep them in the in your backpack in their little pocket there, belt pocket. Nice set of trekking poles. They're USB rechargeables. I believe I read it's 13 hours, holds a charge for 13 hours.
Okay, so to take these off, you just push here, it comes off. Then you get your USB, plug that in there. It's red until it's fully charged, then it's green. So you take the fully charged one, place it on here. Lock in place, and you are good to go. High, red, red flashing, low, high, and off. It's as easy as that. That fully charged charging. There will be a list of the times, the running times, following this clip. A link will be in the details as well as the information will be in the details down below. Thanks for watching. So with a long press on the button here, press and hold it, it goes into uh, camping mode. With a short press, it goes into hiking mode. Now the difference in the two is if you give that a second, uh, the one on the left is gonna stay on. So you could use this as a light and camp. You could set your tarp up using these as a trekking pole on either end. I'll show you a picture of it set up that way. And it'll stay on hiking mode if it's not if it's set down and not moved it'll go into blinking to save power and then after that it'll, it'll shut off but the second you pick it up the second it gets movement it goes right back on so let me shut the lights off and show you what it looks like so that is the two lights there the one on the left is in hiking mode it is in camping mode it'll stay on constantly the one on the right is in hiking mode now that's there it goes it goes to blinking now as soon as you pick up motion again it goes right back on now the camping mode let's see when you turn it on that's camping mode but I don't know if it's higher low let's see okay let's see low high that's high so let's see if I turn this on in camping mode and they look the same I, I think the camping mode is in high yeah definitely camping mode is in high okay so on high in the camping mode you're only gonna have three hours of run time in the low Put it in low. There's, let's see. Yeah. There's low. There's high. On the left is high. On the left is low. On the low, you're going to have 13 hours of run time. In the red, you're going to have 9 hours of run time. In the flashing red, you're going to have 30 hours of run time. So they're waterproof IPX6. I believe that's about 5 feet. And they are shockproof. The tops are shockproof uh, if you drop the poles. A meter and a half. The, the lights, the 
top charging things. Uh, working temperature zero to 45 degree Celsius. You can lift those caps like I showed you and they come with replacement caps that are not these these are have a battery they have caps without a battery tips carbine quick extending you adjust your tension right there with that screw no tools needed this is the lighting really nice uh, foam adjustable straps comes with a charging cord also comes with the tip covers two sets of these one regular one for snow 